Welcome my dear children. I once again welcome you all to G Square Math channel. We already started with algebraic expressions. In that we have, we have seen the previous um, uh, video. What is an algebraic expression? What are the terms? What is the coefficients? What's the like? What are the like and unlike terms? In detail we studied of course. Now we are going to see what are the types of algebraic expressions. The type of algebraic expressions in due course of time we will be studying in terms of number of terms also we will divide the types in terms of the power of that in terms of the degree of that terms also we will divide the algebraic expressions and polynomials that we will see that it is in due course of time now what are the types of algebraic expressions see for example we know we started on the previous channel x plus y and 3x and uh, x square plus 2x minus 7 and x cube plus 7x square minus 8x plus 10. I have given some four examples. Now let us see what are the terms as we already studied that it is x is one term plus y is another term. Here 3 and x are not separate terms. They are connected by a multiplication sign. Terms, will, terms are separated only by plus or minus. Okay. So now 3 x, this is one term it is. This is one term, this is another term. So there are two terms are there. You have only one term. Now let us come to this. X square. What does it mean? What do you mean by x square? We know that x into x. So x and x is multiplied. That's what we are getting x square. So that is one term. Plus 2x. Another term. Minus 7 is another term. So there are three terms are there. Come to this one x into x into x will give you x cube. It is x and x and x and they are not separated by plus or minus. It is a multiplication sign. x into x into x is equal to x cube. x is multiplied three times. So this is one term. Plus 7x square is another term. Minus 8x is another term. Not 8x only. Minus 8x is one, one term. Plus 10 is another term. So the, the, these are four terms of that. And it can be 5 term also, 6 also, 7 also, any number of term an expression can have it. Any constant, any number of constants, any variable, any number of variables, if they are connected by four fundamental operations, that's all. These are algebraic expressions. You are not saying anything about the power of these variables. Here we are mentioning only 3, 2, 1, 1, like that only. Now we will come back again. It can be like this. In one case we have seen this like this also. And uh, x square plus 8 by x. This is the algebraic expressions. One is this. Another term is this. So this is also two terms only. There are only two terms. Here it is 8 into x power minus 1. We will come to, we will, later we will come to know that this is an algebraic expression but this is not a polynomial. This is not a polynomial. Why it is not a polynomial? We will see later. So this is also two terms, this is also two terms, this, also, this is one term, this is three terms, this is four terms. Now we are going to give a different name for this according to the number of terms in the given algebraic expressions. Yet, algebraic expression having only one term is known as a mononomial. Monomial. Mono means one. Monomials. Yeah, algebraic expression having two terms it is known as binomial. Bi means two. Nomial.
binomials. Consists of three terms, it is known as a trinomial. Tri means three. This is a one, this is two, this is three. Trinomial. And four terms. Four and more. Is defined as a polynomial expression. Polynomial expressions. If in an expression the number of terms is more than three, four or five or six or seven or eight, they are known as a polynomial expressions. And we are not having any specific special name for this. We are having a special name for one term, two term, three terms. Three, four and above, we generally we used to call it a polynomial expression. Expression consists of more than four terms. Okay. So now let us come. How to algebra of expressions? Algebra of algebraic expressions. So, see for example, there are two expressions are given. X plus 5 is 1, and another is x square plus 5. A simple example I am taking. There is one expression, this is a binomial expression. This is also a binomial expression. Here the terms are x and plus 5. Here the terms are x square and plus 5. Now the question is add these two. Add these two algebraic expressions. While adding two algebraic expressions, like terms can be added up. See, for example, 3x and 4x. In an expression, we are getting one 3x term and 4x term. If we are adding this, this term can be added. Because the algebraic coefficient of that expression is this. Term is this. This also x. So these are like terms. Like term can be added. 3x plus 4x. That is, coefficient can be added. 7x. So, when I am defining the algebraic expressions, the like term can be added. Here, take the first term is x, here the first term is x square. They are not like. So, when we are getting this, this one, we can write this as x plus 5 plus x square plus 5. So, don't think that these two are the like terms. Here the factors are x, here the factors are x and x square. Different factors, different factors. So they are not like, they are different, unlike terms it is. So unlike term to be kept as it is. x square, x. The constant term can be added. So 5 plus 5 is? 10. So while adding addition in algebra algebra expressions, first comes addition. While adding to algebra expressions, only like terms can be added up. Any number of like terms. Another example and let me take 3x plus 5y minus 7, 7x square plus 10. Add 7 minus 7x plus 8xy minus 6x square minus 7. This is one expression. This is another expression. We have to add this two. Now let us see what are the like terms. Is there any like term for this? Here 7x. So x term. So these two are like terms. 
Similarly, phi y, there is no y term here anywhere. So this is alone. So keep it as it is. First, let me find out. Then 7x square. This is also minus 6x square. x square, x square like terms. Constant, constant, x term. 8xy is left out. There is no 8xy term also. So this is separate. So there is no like term at all. So when you are doing this, let me write this as adding this 3x plus 5y minus 7x square plus 10. Minus 7x plus 8xy minus 6x square. I am adding this 2. Now let us take the first uh, like terms. This 2 are like terms. So 3x minus 7x, that is minus 4x. Let us see, is there any y term? There is no y term at all. So this is left as it is. So plus 5y. Come to the next one, 7x square. So this and this like terms. Minus 7x square, minus 6x square. So there is minus 13x square. 7 plus 6, minus 7, minus 6, minus 13x square. Then 10, minus 7, plus 3. Then this is left out, there is no um, uh, like terms with this, so we can keep it as it is 8xy. So adding this, in addition we have to take that only like terms can be added, unlike terms cannot be added. You keep that in mind. Subtraction. How to subtract? There's a one expression, there's another expression. Subtracting a term from another term is nothing but change the sign of this and add. So that is, we have to subtract this from this, not this from this. I have to subtract the, this one from this. If suppose this is Px and this is Qx. Px plus minus Qx. Generally the expression we use like there is a Px or Qx or alpha x or beta x whatever it may be. x plus 5 minus x minus 5. I am subtracting this expression from this. So remove the brackets. Minus into x minus plus 5. X term, x term. Coefficient 1, coefficient minus 1. So 0x. 5 plus 5, 10. So that is equal to 10. 10 is the answer. Now let us reverse as it is, let us find out what is Qx minus Px. Here what I am going to do that, I am going to subtract Px, I am going to subtract the first expression from the second one. So that is x minus 5 is the second expression, Qx. I am going to subtract Px. So let us x minus 5, minus x minus 5. So, this is 0, minus 10. That is equal to minus 10. Just see, reverse. px minus qx equal to 10, whereas qx minus px is equal to minus 10. So, one thing, you keep it in mind, subtracting one expression from another expression, we mean, change the sign of the second expression and add. That's all. Simple. 
another example. So let us take a um, expression as x square minus 7x plus 2. Another expression is 3x square plus 8x minus 7. I'm going to do this by a different method. In the previous one, we just remove the bracket by changing the sign of the second one. Now, we can do the Px minus Qx. First you write the first expression. x square minus 7x plus 2. Just leave a small gap and write it of course. Then the second expression, the like term you just write below this. That the 3x square, x square, like term, x square. 8x plus 8x minus 7. As I already told you that subtract means change the sign and add. Change the sign. This here is the plus sign, so take it as a minus. This is a minus. This is a plus. Subtraction means change the sign and add. I change the sign. Minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, plus. Now add this. This is x square minus 3x square. Minus 2x square. Minus 7x, minus 8x, that is minus 15x. And this plus 2 plus 7, that is plus 9. The second same way we can do like this also. Px minus Qx. Another, this is the first one mother. Another method I am going to do that, what we have done earlier. x square minus 7x plus 2 minus 3x square plus 8x minus 7. Remove the bracket. x square minus 7x plus 2 minus 3x square minus 8x minus into plus minus minus 8x plus 7 these two other like terms x square minus 2 3x square that is minus 2x square like term like term 7x and 8x like term minus 7 minus 8 minus 15 minus 15x constant plus 2 plus 2 plus 9 See the answer? So, either you can do by this way or this way, both way are the same. Now we know how to add and subtract two algebraic expressions. While adding and subtracting, you got to be very careful only like terms can be added and subtracted. Subtracting is nothing but change the sign of the second expression and add. Addition, simply like term add. Subtraction means change the sign of the each and every term in the second expression and add with the previous one. That's all. So with this, and another two fundamental operations are there. How to multiply two algebraic expressions, how to divide two algebraic expressions. So this too, we will continue with that next one. Dear children, with this, we understand very clearly how to add and subtract two algebraic expressions. In the next video, we will see how to um, multiply and how to divide two algebraic expressions. With this, I conclude today's um, uh, video and thank you very much patiently watching this. If you like, please share and subscribe. Thank you very much.